Everybody has their breaking point. Everyone has a different threshold, but everyone has the point where when push enough, they finally reach it. I'm a patient person. I mind my own business, but I have been known to snap. I bring this up because I'm about to snap. For context, I live in an apartment about five minutes away from campus. I am a quiet and clean roommate, and I also think I'm a considerate neighbor. When I returned from winter break, I noticed a strange pattern from my upstairs neighbor. Every morning, music would begin blaring, and this music would not stop until at least midnight, and if I was lucky, sometime before 2 a.m. This music would blast all day, at random intervals. I first noticed it beginning on a Tuesday at 11 a.m. It is 11 a.m. and the music has already started again. As a patient person, I tried to ignore it for a while and figured they would stop. They did not stop. The music continued to annoy me and to vibrate my walls. Every day, like clockwork, the music would begin blaring in the morning and intermittently start and stop throughout the day. The same song cycle, every day. I used a broom to bang on the ceiling and I even knocked on their door to ask them politely to stop. I threw junk at my ceiling out of frustration, but nothing. Finally, I called management to explain the situation. The general manager assured me that she would speak to the person above me about turning it off when it gets too late. I felt relief. I thought the music would stop. I was wrong. The music only got louder, but the resident above me began acting out in petty ways. They started stomping around the room, drumming on the floor, and my favorite, they acquired a chair on wheels. You might be thinking, what kind of adult acts like this? And to that, I have no answer. As I sit here, plotting my next moves, I have to wonder what on earth could they be doing up there? Why is it the same songs? Why is it constant throughout the day? Do they not have class or other responsibilities? I believe in fighting fire with fire, but in this case, I have no idea what I can do. I've schemed up ways I could annoy them back, such as buying a racquetball or ceiling vibrator, but as a mature adult, I don't want to be a menace, I just want some quiet. When I lived in the dorms, my room racked up a lot of noise complaints. It wasn't because we were playing music too loud, it was because one of my roommates had a really loud voice, and that combined with the fact that the dorm walls are paper thin. I have had to consider the possibility that I'm being punished for something, like this could be my karma for getting so many noise complaints years ago, but then again I remember that that was because someone was talking too loud, and not because I wanted to disturb anyone. Oh, here it goes again. Freshman year me would probably take the petty way out and buy basketball and throw it at the ceiling, but now I'd rather just confront the person above me which would probably be scarier for them. The sleep deprivation has led me to have some awakenings. I originally didn't want to reach out to management because I didn't want to be a bother. I dialed and hung up the phone three times, debating on whether or not I should complain. Now that I've complained, the problem seems to be worse, but I am proud of myself for speaking up. My mom told me that I should just ignore them, which I did for far too long in the beginning. However, I don't give up on things. I will keep nagging management until I see or hear a change. I don't deserve this. Nobody deserves to live under a mosh pit. That is my advice to others. Don't give up. You are worth the fight. And if people don't take you seriously, pester them until they do. I don't live in a quiet or peaceful room, but I believe with enough gusto, one day I will.